Hi, today I'm going to help you a little bit with uh, some troubleshooting for Pluralize. Here I have some files. I shot this with three different cameras. I have the 5D, the Canon 70D, and a Sony. So if we look at these files here, we'll see we have several video files here, and I also have audio from a Tascam audio recorder. So we're going to go into Pluralize. We have a new project now and I'm going to add three camera angles and one audio file. So I'll go to the first camera window and I'm going to drag in my 5D files. Do the same for my 70D. And my third file is on the Sony. You'll see it automatically names the folders accordingly due to the hierarchy in here. Um, the Sony, I recompressed the video files uh, to the Cineform codec, so that's why it doesn't show the preview. So we're getting an error here because there's a short duration clip. That's okay, we don't really need it. So I can delete that file. And lastly, I need to add the audio files. So we're adding those. So you can see Pluralize building these waveforms in here. And if we use the slider here, we can expand these waveforms so you can see them better. So what we're noticing now in the 70D is that there's a couple files that show no audio f at all. So I'm going to click to the 70D. I'm going to highlight one of these. And that's the 7555 movie. So let's go back here and open this in QuickTime Player. And we're getting some audio in here, but it's really quiet. So it is showing up, but let me show you something else. This is Adobe Prelude, and in here we can see the files, and it does have a waveform. But if I hit play, the monitors on the right are moving, but I'm not hearing any audio. Interestingly enough, if I mute one of the channels, now we start hearing the audio on the file. If I'm playing both audio files, I don't hear anything. So that's a little bit of a clue to what's going on. So let's switch back to Pluralize. And we're going to go hunt down this movie again. And we're going to open it in QuickTime Player. And we're going to go to Window Movie Properties. This is the Pro version of QuickTime. Notice we have left and right both assigned here. Um, but I'm going to take left and change it to mono and I'm going to go to right and say unused. Now I'm going to close this file. It's going to ask me if I want to save it and I will. So that's the 7555 movie. So I'm going to go into my pluralized sync. I'm going to delete that movie from the queue and then go in here and delete these preview files. Move those to the trash. And I'm going to drag this movie back onto here. Now we're getting some audio waveforms in here. So I'm going to hit sync and see what happens. Okay, so we still have some problems in here. Notice the one that I did have 
change the setting to mono, that one worked. This second one didn't, and we have a few more problems in here. So let's go in and look at these. So if we go to the 70D file, it's going to give us this error here. It said it couldn't sync it, 7556. So we're going to delete that one. Go back into our folder for that as well. Delete the preview files. Open this file in QuickTime Player Pro. Change this to mono. Change that to unused. And save the file out. Now I'm going to drag it back in here. It's going to prepare the waveform and now we see we have a waveform starting. So now let's hit synchronize. So it's able to line up that file. Let's fix these other ones and we'll be right back. So there you have it. That's how to fix some of the audio recordings and uh, hopefully this will help you out in Pluralize.